Are you saying that um, doing music in church doesn't pay? If music in church pays you, fine, but I will not say... <laughs> you see how you start to hit it like this? <laughs> Behind every beautiful melody, there is a superhuman in the background who has done the work of putting together various bits and sounds to create the perfect rhythm. Yes, guys, buckle up for a musical adventure where we explore the world of music and producing back to back. And joining us today is one superhuman, literally a superhuman. <laughs> Right, he's a music producer, a songwriter, and he's vers is known basically for his versatility in Afrobeat and Afropop. And most recently, he attempted to break the world Guinness record for the longest recording time with multiple artists. Yes, if you guessed, Mr. Hit Sound. I'm putting the Mr. in front of his name because that's how we that's how we address people that we respect. Yeah, those <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, if you guess Hit Sound, then you are correct. Yes, he recently attempted to break the Guinness World Record for the longest recording time for 72 hours, breaking the 40-hour record, right, yeah. with multiple artists. And he's going to be telling us the tales behind that. He's going to be telling us about his musical journey. So let's just say this is Music 101. So welcome to class. <laughs> right, it is Yeah Yeah Talk Podcast. My name is Mide, your favorite screen giver. And y'all already know that I do not do this alone ever. Maybe once in a while, shall <laughs> I? I won't cut your life, but I'll just move on. <laughs> Maybe once in a while, I have my beautiful co-host with me. She says I'm the sixth. And she's my five, so let's let's go with it. I'll just say that she's one half of the double M, the beautiful Moya Sore. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. It's and the new hairdo for me. It's, it's given. <laughs> hey. I told you, you just pass. know that if I don't if I don't gas you up, I'm not feeling fine. Thank <laughs> you, my darling. Yeah, so I decided to just um, you know. Switch, you know it what up. Switch it up. Yeah. Like, switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> and today, you now, especially with the com class. Yes. Okay. So, um, in for all the lecture that our guest is going to deliver today. And because I know that he's so versatile, and I can really tell already because behind the scenes, if you know, they question us. <laughs> and I know this is going to be worth your time. So all you need to do right now is just come close, drag your phone, drag everything you're using to listen to us uh -huh. or watch us right now, and make sure you do not miss a word that we're going to say right here on the Yeah Yet Talk podcast and you know now right here we say the, the truth, truth and, and nothing, nothing but, but the, the truth, truth. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. how far now i'm doing great how are you doing i'm very well i think that you're finer in person oh yo did, did i did i, I say saw. that or no did I say that on Oh, you said so. I said so. so. Yeah. I said so. You, like, yeah, actually, your you're, pictures are good, mean, but like... I'm not videogenic or photogenic. No. Or I, I feel like <laughs> I love it when I see people and I'm like, oh my God, pictures do not do justice. Exactly. And yeah. it's a major flex. Yeah, like, you, you know, because usually when we see people on camera, we when we see them in real life, yeah, we're like, a bit disappointed. But, like, but like, right. uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're right. Yeah, editing for. <laughs> <laughs> normal life. Normal life. No, but for Thank you, I think... I'm by the Hey, it can't clear. It, it clear where we're now. Blood, yeah. <laughs> you know, it will look like he just went through the hassle of a whole 72 hour marathon. Yeah, the 72 hours is like, marathon. is like my normal life. I'm a producer. We spend nights in the studio. We go for camps. So mm. it's just like me living my normal life. So, mm. yeah. So, in your case, it wasn't a, it wasn't a case of the pressure is getting worse. Was no, no. But <laughs> it, it was. It was. But not all the time. It was just like the third day. I started feeling like, ah, oh, Omo, are you sure happy to do this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's even start from there. What prompted you? Like, you woke up one day and like, who that don't get Guinness World Record, Abby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, right now. try my own. No, no, no. What happened was, I already had plans of doing Guinness one time, but I, right. I was thinking it was going to be four years from now. Mm -hmm. But when Hilda did her own, what it did was, it showed me there was a process that could be attainable from Nigeria. Right. So I said, okay, Mm, since somebody don't do am, um, ma do research how she take do am, um. mm. and I I followed up. I figured it was even not that hard. There was a portal. You go there, register, get your reference code and everything. And I saw, okay, I could do this. Mm. And I've been done tired. Everybody they do food, 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 food. <laughs> Nobody they do music. So I said, okay, ma do am. Um. I think there's a, a there's a bit of right life. thinking there. You yeah. know, trying to do 
trying to draw strength from what someone else has done, yeah. but at the same time doing it differently. Yeah. You know, I think Making that's one of own, the things. Owning it. Yes, owning yeah. it. Yeah, because yeah. Um, after Hilda do our own, it can't be like say on one tier that record. Uh, <laughs> I was so exhausted. <laughs> like they want tier was the book. a lot. Like <laughs> they want tier the book. Everywhere there you should actually turn. be there should actually be a, 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 an award to Nigerians for you know, Guinness World Record for Romance. multiple <laughs> Guinness World Breaking <laughs> attempts. <laughs> it was a lot. In fact, at some point I couldn't even deal from the hairdressing to the I think there was even a spa person yeah, at some point to the dancing <laughs> to, to those that went like extreme with the X-rated <laughs> version. What do you sleep at on? I for not win that one. They not they not inform me on time. <laughs> she 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 do the sleep at on and like did backfire. So <laughs> it was it was crazy. Honestly, <laughs> it, it, but but then I, I like that you did yours and let, let's let, let's even look at how Nigeria received or Nigerians received. Um, you know, how your own attempt. How did that go? Did you receive the kind of support that you expected? It was just like, ah, well, they don't come again. <laughs> Honestly, I would say I received a lot of support because when we were on the live stream for the whole three days, thousands of Nigerians came to support, to share, comment. I joined one time. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so so I, got, I got a lot of support from the A-list celebrities, mm. from Nigerians as a whole. Um, when I was live... I saw that, okay, this, I was scared, like, will, will people even watch this? Mm. Will the, because my team, we are not that plenty, but we did our best. And financially speaking, we did not pump so much money into it. We just wanted to do the attempt and make sure we did it. Mm. But the venue was filled up with people. And at some point, we lost control of some of the artists. It was so, it was a crazy scene. And when I was inside, I didn't even know what was happening outside. And somebody came and whispered in my ear, Omo, outside all food. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I felt, okay, wow, this is happening. And some of the celebrities that helped me out, they came, sat down. Mm. Big shout out to Mastercraft. He came, recorded. Rexy showed up. Um, Isab Timo. A lot of people showed up for me and I felt like, okay, I'm really doing this. Yeah, let's go get it. Let's talk about the artists. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you were, supposed to, you were supposed to have about 30 artists, but you yeah. had way more than 30 artists. 65. 65. Yeah. Uh, how many bits did you produce? It was like over... Was it like over 300? It was supposed to be like... Yeah, okay. So the, um, let me clarify that. What I meant by 300 bits is I had like 300 bits. Give or take, everybody must have a bit. So okay. I gave some of the artists 2-2. Two, two, and at the sport, there was a time when we had to start letting artists from outside come in because the 30 artists I had already finished their beats. They were so good, it was a fast process because what I did was, um, a week before then, I sent out the beats so they can... Guinness wanted us to do a recording marathon, so I couldn't make beats live and stuff. Right. Initially, I had plans of making beats and doing everything. Then I figured it would be a penalty for me to be making beats right. and beats in recording time. So I sent them beats, they worked on it and came for the recording session. So we had like a hundred artists in total like that wanted to record but the 30 was so we don't fall short of, of yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so eventually you did how many artists 65 65 wow. so what did you tell the other yeah. ones the other ones that um were at the venue we had to tell them okay you know what since we've hit our 72 hours we are going to add three extra hours so mm -hmm. we we will start running sessions for some of you and we did like six to seven others and the rest we told them you know what you work with me outside of this place, so, mm. yeah. Who are the artists that worked with you? I mean, are they known names or upcoming artists? It's an attempt. I right. did not really um, put a mark on who. I just told my team that, okay, if we exhaust the 30 w um, artists we had was so the momentum will build. Right. Mm. I already know that, okay, these are the ones I want to work with. So mm. the rest can be based on random selection. Mm -hmm. We were not biased with the selection. If mm. we see someone outside, they... I had a team of producers outside that were sifting the artists that won't stress me. You know, mm. during three days, if you get an artist that gives you heavy sweat, right. you might just get exhausted. Right. So they were sifting artists. And if you are an artist that we know, a renowned artist, we just let you come in. So let's say an artist is already recording. You can take verse two. Because, you know, time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. right. We don't want a Pato ranking being stranded outside and mm -hmm. waiting so yeah, we did. We so did what that. big names? I want to hear the big names that came to show you support, so we can give them a shout out. <laughs> okay, um, the big names we had, Eli, we had Mastercraft, mm. 
we had Rexy, we had Willis, Marvin Music. Um, I, I, I can't start listening to names. All of them, they are, right. There were so, there so much. Yeah. Thank yeah. you all for showing up and showing <laughs> out. Because I always, I think one thing about Nigerians is, in as much as we're diversified in terms of culture and tribe and stuff, when it comes to something that is going to put our name, the because mm. at the end of the day, Niger, we are all Nigerians yeah. first before we are Yoruba, Igbo, mm, Hausa, yeah. Teeve, and whatnot. So one thing I love about Nigerians is when it's time to show support, they we always show turn up, up and show out. Yeah. And when we want to turn against you, it's also <laughs> a show up and show out kind of thing. Like we're yes. united in that way, mm. and I really love it for us. I do love it for us. And let's set, let's step aside a bit from the Guinness, Guinness conversation yeah. and let's talk about music in general. Okay. How long have you been doing music for? And what was the point in life you decided, okay, this music production, that's where I'm going to stick to? Um, all my life, I've been a music lover. Mm -hmm. My dad was a music genius. He, he, okay. He, he'd always play songs in, in different scenarios. And I grew up in an environment where we had, like, neighbors playing um, Fela, Dipanj, Mohit, all that mm. stuff. So I picked interest from the church, actually, like, since um, my family members are like so key on choir stuff, <laughs> like, yeah, I they were I key on choir stuff. You did not, you didn't care mm, for that. I was still small. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed that most musicians they tell you they that they started from, from the church, the church. Yeah. and they even mm. not left the church? No, I did not leave the church. It's like, okay, now you know when you start something for, as a hobby or mm -hmm. something of fun, mm. there comes a time when you need to start making money, right? Mm. And if you say you want to do church stuff you are doing service to god you are not doing it to make money and then so are you saying that um doing music in church doesn't pay if music in church pays you fine but i will not say <laughs> how you, you it 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 but there's 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 a high chance that you might not make much money right and i know a lot of people don't do music in church because they want to make money they mm. just they just do that because they feel okay you know what I serve a living God and I'm willing to sacrifice I serve my talent. I serve a living God, oh, he won't do that, oh, no. Say that, true. But, but for, for me, I, I started in church because I needed to get the whole momentum. Right. You know, in church, you learn the keyboard, you learn harmony, mm, melodies. So you're one of those people who thoroughly agree with the fact that um, being in church gives you the freedom to express, to learn. But once like you are done taking all that talent, you go outside. You go outside, no. dude. You are outside. outside. We are no, no, no. outside. No, it's, it's, it's not like that. Now, let me speak for um, the musicians that okay. get caught up in this kind of situation. Okay. Mm. So, you know, music is a language and it's like an expression. Mm -hmm. Most times, the misconception is that because you started in church, you need to keep doing it in church. Mm. Mm. But... In the other way around, you now have to look at it, just like I said earlier, from the business side of it. Mm. So, if I am, okay, now let me give you an analogy. If I am a carpenter and I do furniture for a school, that doesn't mean I will not be able to render that service outside because mm. the school might not need furniture work at that moment. So, mm. what will I be doing? Mm. Will I just sit down and be waiting for the school to call me? No, I have to spread my wings and try. So since music is a language, it translates from every angle. Mm. I can go to church, make church music, and still come out and render my services as a musician. Mm. That's because it's uh, it's no longer a hobby. It's no longer something I'm doing on a low key. But so, so do you still do music in church? Of course I do music in church. Okay. You need to see me in church when I'm... Hey. I'm not singing in choir, but yeah. definitely. Um, but by the way, he can sing. He was singing backstage, <laughs> and in my head, I'm like, just be giving me content. So I will just put it on the spot here. I will just say, do one freestyle here. Now, 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 now. No, that would definitely, artist. that would definitely yeah, I happen. I was an artist before. I'm still an artist, but I don't do singing, singing. I don't do rap right. anymore because production took over. Mm. Mm. So, so only you, right? Only you, you'll be music producer. Song you're writer. an artist, you're a songwriter, and also, I also you're an author, and yeah. I also discovered that you're a disc jockey. jockey yeah. yeah, virtually all producers are disc jockeys. Okay. Mm. Yeah. How does that work? It's because music is um like you cue songs when you're doing disc jockey. Yeah. Work. So we work with tempo. Yeah. And disc jockey is tempo. Producers work with tempo. Mm. We know the counts, the the metronome count of every song. It's just like. Um, the songs I listen as references when I'm producing, I can just say, okay, this one and this one makes sense. If I play it, the expression from the crowd will be down. So yeah, mm. if you just give me a turntable, 
It's just like you giving me a mixer board. Mm. I'll look at it and cue the songs according to BPM and start synchronizing it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't it's say it that of, way. Um, beats and you know, you you. I mean, I know that you're versatile in, um, in your Afro beats and Afro pop, um, Afro pop um, expression. Yeah. There is this thing you do called type beat, right? Yeah. Can you go further into it? Because I literally had to start googling what is type beats. What has that got to do with music yeah. and Afro pop and Afro beats? <laughs> no, type beats. Type beats actually started sometime in two thousand and eight, nine. So what type beat means is, imagine Rema now with the whole fan base he has. Mm -hmm. There are lots of artists that look forward to singing like Rema. Right. So. Rema's producer cannot serve the whole public and mm -hmm. give them Rema beats. Right. So producers now can make beats inspired by Rema mm. and call it a Rema type, type beat. beat. So if you're an artist that wants to work with Rema type beats, you can go to YouTube. Mainly it's YouTube stuff. Mm. You can just go and search Rema. If you search Rema Instrumental, you see a lot of Rema type beats. Mm. Different years, different tempos, different um, BPM and stuff. So that's the meaning of type beats. It's making beats in inspiration to an artist that already exists that is big. Whiskey, Thames, Burner. Yeah. Is it all art, um, all producers that do that? Or is it just no. something you decided that, okay, let me venture into this? Sakwa, Sakwa. Sa <laughs> Sakwa <laughs> sat you down <laughs> one day. Sakwa sat you down and say, hey, you, versatile. <laughs> and, and honestly, from the Thai beats, I made a couple millions the first year. Oh, really? Mm. That's because it's a booming market. It's like, you lease beats. There's what we call beat leasing. Okay. So instead of you to buy the beat for like 4 million, 5 million, 10 million, I put the beat for as low as 15K. Mm. So you are borrowing the beats. You don't mm. own the beats. It's like 100 people can use one beat. But it's targeted at upcoming artists that are looking for how to survive. Right. So I have like, my catalog of beats now has like close to 1,000 beats. So you can list any of them you want. Mm. You just go there, list it for like $30. Mm. You can own the beat. If you own the beat, I take it down. That's what type beats. That's the business of type mm. beat. And when I started type beat, I felt there was need for somebody to do something different. Mm. I wasn't always in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I was a student one time. And so to make ends meet, I had to go to the internet. I would say I'm probably one of the first producers in the whole Nigeria to do the whole internet thing, selling yeah. sample packs and doing type beat stuff. And yeah, so far it's been a great journey. Right, we told you this is music one. <laughs> it is. So I hope you're enjoying the class and I hope you have your pen. Okay, we're now in the digital age. So nobody uses pens and papers yeah, anymore. So I hope you have your notepad and you're typing rigorously. <laughs> <laughs> like, because like, we're learning about the business of music. We're learning about, you know, we just talked We talked about the Guinness World Record and following process, due yeah. process. We're talking about Thai beat and how to make money for me. So how you are making money for me, yeah. right? And so basically it means that when you venture into music, there are different aspects aspects to it. Yeah. You don't have to always follow the status quo. Of course, you don't have right. to. Right. So tell us about your creative process as a producer. You've worked with various producers. You yeah. mentioned... Um, 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 Oh, uh, the person who came to support Mastercraft. you, Mastercraft. Mastercraft yeah, yeah, you mentioned Mastercraft and other and others. So tell us about your creative process and you know what it is like working with other producers. It's it's really a very sweet process, you know. I don't have a standard process of how I work. I'm I'm really flexible with it. So um, when I started learning production, I felt there was a need to make it faster, ten times faster. Mm. I've already applied so many new methods of making it fast for me. Because if I don't even have all these methods, I can't break um, a record first mm. place. So my process is get the... Uh, okay, so if, it is, if I'm working with an artist, I'd love to have a consultation time with them. Maybe virtual or you know, in person where we talk about the, their kind of music, they play their stuff, I listen to it and I deliberate on what key works for them. And then we set the session. Now, the session is broken into two, the beat making session and the recording session. So once I make the beat, I... I tell them, okay, take the beat. You have a week or two. Just write. I don't like I don't like freestyles. Mm. Unless the oh, artist really? is optimum. There are some artists that their brain resonates around music. Mm. They can close their eye and, and, and sing a song without going back. So I don't like freestyles because I feel music is something that you don't just you don't just sing anyhow. Mm. You need to True. pass a message. Right. You, need to, you need to be relatable. So I give you a beat one week. If you can write in a day, fine. Then we come for recording. During the recording, I direct, tell you what to do. If you have issues with the lyrics, I write too. So I tell you what to do. You write. We record. Then you go home. You can give me a week or two. Depends on how compressed I am. Mm. I do the mixing. Then I send you a demo. You listen. Um, you tell me what you want me to change. Then I do the mastering. 
then I give you the final wave. So that's just the process. It's easy. But for making beats, I don't have a process. Most times, I get my inspiration from the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, there's a melody I heard. I can come out with soap on my body and... <laughs> Or maybe I take my notepad and do <laughs> and keep it. That's that's my process for making right. it. Yeah, it's flexible. Don't worry. You you really sound knowledgeable in this yeah. field. And it's interesting to have you break the process and the act of um, making music this way that is so it's so easy to understand. And that that brings me to wondering if you had to go to a school to learn this, because you actually mentioned when I was learning produ um, music production, yeah? Did you go to a school? Was it just something you picked up? I know that music, you were, you got music from home, as yeah. you rightly said, but yeah. how did this kind of knowledge, music production knowledge, how did you get it? It's, I got my knowledge from the streets, trust me. I don't, I can't tell you I learned anything from any school. Mm. It's, it's from the streets. So um, I never got the opportunity to, I could never have afforded to go to a music school. Oh. I wanted to go to a music school, but when I checked my account balance, like, <laughs> again, I passed out you no, down. Sakwa passed me down. Said, "Yo, bro, use your head." <laughs> so I learned most of my production skills from YouTube. Mm. And there was a time I was a cleaner in the mm. studio. Yeah, I was you cleaning the studio to see how they were making music, wow. and I I did not let my pride and ego get in the way. I understood music, but I came and said, "You know what? I need a job. Mm. Maybe if I if I clean for you and maybe do anything." You can teach me. And it's always been like that with me. If I, even up to now, I still learn. If I meet a um, a producer that is way bigger than me, I can never tell them anything. I just, I'm using the 48 laws of power. You just, you listen because you don't even know what, like, um, what you can learn from them. So right. I'm a good listener. That's, that's how far I've come in music. I figured that it's a constant growth thing. Mm -hmm. It does not have to do with school, school, school. Mm -hmm. Educational wise, I, I study quantity surveying. So it's not even music, but all, all during that time, I was doing street knowledge where if we put this one, they insult the song. Mm. No, 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 let's not do that. So every artist I work with, there's something new coming. Mm. There's something new. So it's, it's like if a whiskey calls me, I will not use the formula I used for the previous artists. I might have to go and do some research, yeah. and spend a couple of days. And one of my biggest challenges was working with Colors. You know Colors Studios? Mm. Yeah. So I recorded Arasta and Joe Boy for Colors and... They hit me up one day before the day. They didn't tell me who I was working with. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. And they sent me a couple specifications I've never seen in my life. They're like, you have to use an Apollo Twin X. You have to use Pro Tools. I've never taught that software in my life. And, but the pay was big. <laughs> I couldn't say no. I said, okay, you know what? I'm hit sound. Let's do this. So I sat, watched YouTube all night talked to a couple friends and I was able to pull that off with no stress with the help of my engineering friend Fuel. so mm. that's just how music is it's, you can't say you learn it from school I have friends that went to school and shishi they don't know right. <laughs> shishi if you hear their music you are going to you might throw up like <laughs> it's garbage so it's not about school it's that just using your mind your mind and mm. it's inbuilt Mm. But would you say that there there is any artist or producer, basically any musical figure that has inspired your type of music? It, it could be Nigerian, it could be um from on a global scale. Yeah. Um Killer Tunes, SARS, Metro Booming, and yeah, Mastercraft. You see, these four producers I've listed, they really inspired me. Most especially Killer Tunes. I can I can say when I started production, his beats were everywhere. Mm. Yeah, his beats were everywhere. I used to, I jumped on some of his beats and I, I used to perform the songs. I used to feel like, wait, if this guy can make this beat like this, why don't I learn how to make beats? Mm. He inspired me a lot because then he was one of the first guys that was putting free beats online, free beats, free beats. So a lot of artists download the beats. Even myself, I downloaded the beats. I worked on them and I would say, anytime I want to make beats, I just listen to his songs. There was no Instagram then. I just download them from Not Just Okay. Not or maybe, Just Okay. Yeah. We're uploaded. We're uploaded. <laughs> Niger flavor, you just download the You're song. You're not here. Niger flavor, <laughs> that's cool. <girl. laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Killer Tools are inspired. SARS inspired. Mastercraft inspired. And a whole lot of producers. I can't just say it's a one producer thing. Right. Mm. But these are like my core producers. And the biggest influence for my moves in music is Kanye West. Mm. Yeah, I'm a big Kanye fan. You chose right. 
here. I tell and you, you is, chose right. He's the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. I'm a huge fan of Kanye too. Yeah. And huge fan because I feel like he understands music. Yeah, he yeah. does. See, you got he leave, does. Leave Kanye and his drama. He, he gets <laughs> he it. Knows, he can knows see what he's doing with his yeah. new group and yeah. academy. He has an academy for children and all that good stuff. Give it up to him. That's why I said you chose right. But coming back to those that inspired you and how production has been um, in recent years, right? Before now, we didn't used to give producers their flowers, yeah. right? They were just behind the scene. Mm -hmm. We didn't even... I think it was even Don Jazzy that made producers being a, uh, to be in the limelight, yeah. so to yeah. say, right? Yeah. It was yeah. until we started seeing Don Jazzy with the band and then it was always Don Jazzy on the beat, you know, and all that stuff. That's why we knew that, okay, music didn't start or doesn't start with the artist. Yeah. It starts with somebody who does the work behind the Let's scene. See. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I think maybe now we can now say, okay, we are giving producers, but those period where we do it, even there was no recognition, there was no, um, you know, affiliation, so to say, with producers. How, how did that make you feel at that point? And then what is the difference right now? Um, I'd really say there's a big evolution. There's a big leap in the industry. People are really getting to know that a big process happens behind the scenes mm -hmm. and there are people that make these things come to life. Right. And I'd say it comes from the fact that producers now had to up their game and start putting out music. Let's, mm. let's say people like Young John and Fields, they prove to us that it's not just being a producer. There is way more. Yeah. And Don Jazzy, like you said, made us understand that you can also be, you can be a very genius producer, mm. but they need a face to the brand. Mm. Jazzy did a lot to show us that it's possible. So we, we talked about Kanye West. Kanye West is a producer, we all know. Yeah. And if you watch his um, documentary, Genius, at some point he felt he couldn't be making music for Jay-Z. He needed to do something for himself. Right. And that was when he did the Through the Wire song mm. and it took off. So there needs to be a face to the brand. And a lot of producers, they, they are beginning to realize that they can't feed off just the money that comes from sessions and all this stuff. They need to up their standards. Mm -hmm. So that's where the branding comes in. And most of them, people like SARS, they start putting out music. They start featuring international artists. Some going to DJing. Mm. And the management are really doing a great job with putting a rollout plan where you do photo shoots, you do... Um, a couple radio interviews, you go on TV. Mm. It wasn't like that before. Before, producers just get paid and you hear their tag. Some, sometimes they don't even hear their tag. So I'd say... These days, I know they even hear tag again. Now, before, <laughs> you they hear sass on the beat. Yeah. Sass, sass. Or feels on feels. What was that feels' line, Seth? Feels, Mr. Producer. Feels, Mr. Producer. Yeah. No, he yeah. has been to re... Really? Yeah, really, really my cooler. Yeah. 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 The day I heard the of that, I was like, oh, this is what you are saying. What was it? Um, um, I think it's... Uh, Read him something. Man. No. And no, I think it's um what's this um patwa I think it's a patwa kind yeah. of thing. I don't know the name. rhythm rhythm and cool uh something like that. I oh, forgot yeah, him, but like so. when I heard the mail, I was like so now this thing they talk all this way. I just hear uh, yeah, read the makula uh, yo. Now nah, read the makula. Yeah, I need yeah, to be pause that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think like, it's a part where um yeah, it, it sounds Jamaican. Yeah. So like producers start putting their faces out and doing the branding. So it's a big leap hmm. from 20, 2010 to like twenty sixteen. Producers were back. Like hmm. a lot of them were not getting recognition at all. Hmm. But let's say from sometime around 2020, the pandemic opened the eyes of so many people. Now, the disconnect between producers and artists and the internet, in the internet world mm -hmm. created some kind of insight. You know, when people were at home bored, they now figured they can't be behind the scene. They need to do something for themselves. Mm. TikTok now started taking off. Right. So with the advent of TikTok, producers now felt, I could get more people to work with me if I'm making content and showing people, this is how I make beats, this is how I do that. Mm. So most people started coming out. That was where this song by Fields took off the... Uh, yes. uh, so people were surprised that... Yeah, when they started <laughs> trying, people were surprised that, wait, Fields? And that sparked some kind of feeling of producers are... Bad. And even Young John too, Young you know. Young John came out. So, yeah. you see, it, the internet evolution have really helped a lot of us producers. But somebody like me, I always I was wearing hoodies before I had a faceless brand. Mm. I always post beats. But when I figured that almost... You need to put a face to it. I need to, to put a face to it. My followers skydive. Mm. 
Before, Interesting. Yeah, before people yeah. think producers are not humans, they don't have <laughs> yeah. like they don't exist. They don't exist. But but then uh, looking at what we now have, right. do you not think that because I believe strongly in specializing, mm -hmm. right? I'm one of those people who believe that if you're on this lane, use this skill and maximize it on this particular lane. You can decide to diversify. You can decide to be versatile. But I mean, let us know that this is what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. Do you not think that the the pursuit of producers to now be in the limelight, mm -hmm. to do music, to do DJ, to do everything all at once, would take away a bit of the spinach, right? Or the specialization that we used to enjoy with producing? Because now they're also trying to build a brand for themselves. Mm -hmm. Would that not affect the quality we used to get with production? No, absolutely not. Let me just ask you, one simple question. What's the life expect expectancy of a celebrity in Nigeria? I'm what, what's, what's, the, what's the life expectancy? Uh, well, it depends. People go 5, 10, 15, 20. I mean, depends how on how people, you're able to carry your brand. How many people have gone 5? Uh, 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 no, like, I mean, let's, let's what, what classification of celebrity are we talking about? Because we're in the movies, it's possible to go 10, Ten, 15, yeah, 20. Exactly. No, like, in music, in music. Okay, in, mu uh, in music. Uh, the life expect expectancy uh, of celebrities in Nigeria is one year. Are you sure? Mm. Bad as he bad. Ashaka has done too. Exactly. No, no, you know what I'm saying? This? <laughs> it's, because, it's because we have artists that come out every year. Every year. Hundreds of them. I agree. And after first two songs, we don't hear from them. Mm. But uh, now... Talking about diversity for producers, yeah. producers' life expectancy is five months because <laughs> everybody wants to work with you. They'll stop at some point. Any producer no, well, will come. I beg to disagree. I, I mean, you're 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 the expert, but yeah. from my own third party viewing, mm -hmm. right? I, mm -hmm. I beg to disagree for, for both artists and producers. So for artists, for example, we still have like who um, the people who say are the touch bearers, legacy touch bearers, mm -hmm. like Fela, who's who is um, no longer with us. We have Two-Face. We have... Um, um, now we're having, like, Pato Rankin, David Doe, Burner Boy, and the rest. And I ca you cannot say that since when they started up it's until a, now, we it's still... It's like they're... they're, they're recogni uh, this English is leaving me on the show. <laughs> it's like their fame keeps growing it's more a, it's and a more. It's a percentage thing, over 100. Trust me, artists that have grown three years, they are not up to 5%. Mm. I'm honest. Okay. So the the inconsistency is visible. For producers, right? I would say why most of them diversify and put a brand is because royalty wise, you can be the hottest producer okay. and you won't be paid nothing. Okay. You, you just get paid advance. And you know, most of producers get caught up in the fight for royalties and split shit. Yeah. They don't want all that problem. So if it is my song, I have a hundred percent of it, and I put it out, put a couple money inside. Mm. That's forever money for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So looking at it from the perspective of diversity and trying to make more income, because pr trust me, production money is not much if you are reinvesting into yourself. Mm. A microphone can cost you five million. So if you break down that money, you need a couple sessions. Combined be able to, to be able to buy one microphone. How much does one session cost? Like on an average, like so for example, I didn't have too much money. I'm an upcoming artist. I want to record a track. Hopefully, this will be my blow track. And if not, we'll, we'll go again. <laughs> we'll go again. Yeah, <laughs> in a place like Nigeria, it's like 150k to 300. Is that for just recording or for the entire for process? The entire process depends on who the producer is. So the more, and that's where now this is the biggest point of it. As a producer, the more you do, right? The more your face is out there, it's a numbers game. The more you do, the more promo, the more activities, the more people want to work with you. So you can't just sit down in the studio. Before, like when I was learning production, only thing I know is we have this producer in one area that will be in the studio sitting down and waiting for people to come and work and go. Mm. But now that producers are doing so much, it be, it's becoming fun. Everybody wants to interact. Right. So you can come and meet me and say, you are not here to make music. Mm -hmm. You are here to feature me. Mm -hmm. And all I can do is just sit down, cross my leg in the video, and be eating chewing gum. <laughs> but my presence in the video will give it a boost. Right. Mm. So that's why they're doing so much. And I don't believe, my, me personally, I don't believe in jack of all trades, master of none. Mm. No, I don't. I, I think you're I mean, jack, jack of, of all trades and trade. master of all, uh, yeah. or at least most. Yeah, she yeah, I, mean, of, I, mean, I feel the internet have made everything, everything easier. Yeah. Mm. easier. I can decide to start a cooking show today. I'll go to YouTube and watch 
how to cook jollof rice. All I need is the material. And if you have access to the basi, exactly, that, that's even a plus for you. <laughs> but food, still, still talking about finance, money, you know, mm. making money, because I think we've kind of like deviated into making money in music. Yeah. I want us to go back to church. Okay. Right. So we have lots of artists now, like gospel artists. Thank God I said church. Mm-hmm. Right. Gospel artists. And, you know, they charge money to to come minister if they are invited, which I, I'm in total support of, by mm-hmm. the way. But then you find out there are a lot of people there, because you mentioned earlier that if you really want to make money, you're not going to have to, you're not going to do church or you have to diversify from yeah, church, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, you mentioned that. So it, it brought me, it got me thinking. So for um, gospel artists that come to minister in church and they charge money, why is it that there is a lot of backlash that follows it? Because if I invited David o, to come and perform at my concert, I would pay him money. Mm-hmm. If I invited um, Burner Boy, Whiskey to come and perform, I would pay them money. So why can't I invite Betsy Chinwo to church or um, Sumi Sola yeah. or Moses Bliss? Why can't I invite them to church and still pay and pay them money? Because people feel that you're coming here to serve God. And if we're talking about just serving God, I think you can employ your choir members mm-hmm. to sing the same song. I mean, we all know the songs. Yeah. Tell your choir members to sing. That way you don't have to pay. Because if, if because the part of the reasons why press Personal, personal opinion, part of the reasons why I feel like you're inviting people to church, right? These celebrities to church is also for some kind of brand image. It's yeah. also to draw crowd. Yeah. And so if you're going to be using these people to draw crowd, you might as well pay them for the crowd that they're going to draw yeah, for you. True. What's your opinion on that? My take on that is, you know, as much as um, people target church music, yeah. right? I've said it before, there's always a business side to everything. Mm. And I wouldn't say it's a bad thing to pay like gospel artists to come to perform in church that's because they are not a one man army they definitely have backup singers mm-hmm. they have a camera crew mm-hmm. they have to pay for logistics mm-hmm. they have to stay in a hotel right. it's not in their city they pay for flights and most of the fee from my experience it's not even because they are charging the church to give them money to flex or chill mm-hmm. it's because they need to cover some expenses and so it does not mean you know god gives talent in order for us to expand our reach and be fruitful to multiply. So if God gives you a talent, right, he expects you to utilize it, which you can use it to praise God, and at the same time, you can use it to earn a living. So sometimes, before I know that, normally if they call a gospel artist, they don't give them nothing. Maybe they don't pay their transport and stuff. Mm -hmm. But right now, a lot of them have like a price tag, rate card and all that stuff. I'd say it's because of the evolution and how things are going. Mm. The country itself, no balance. <laughs> mm. Why go come, come service? Because you it's literally go... my daily bread. Yeah, this is my daily bread. And honestly, I'd say why gospel artists charge is because, you know, regardless of how things are going in the country and every, every, they deserve it. They yeah. drop albums, they drop mixtapes, they mm-hmm. drop... If I don't get paid, how do I produce this stuff? Exactly. But but I think that things are a lot better now. It's back in the day where you have um, people, artists, gospel artists, mm-hmm. you know, minister in churches, and they just give them thank you for coming. Yeah. Now they <laughs> got rich. Yeah, I mean, rich. and I I support my brothers and sisters in the yeah, faith the because at the end of the day, it's a job now. Yes, sir, yeah, it's a you job. know, it's how they live, it's how they feed, and even it's 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 it which they should be duly recognized. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think that now, if you want to bring some kind of people to church, it could be like say they bring the video con concerts. Exactly. They you know it's in greats and yeah. rates right now, and I really do not blame them because how long do we continue to deceive ourselves with the fact that um uh, sister don't worry the lord will, the lord, will, uh, <laughs> the lord please, will do it let my provide. reward be coming now because they're gonna feed they have yeah, bills, to, they pay have bills and to pay and I love churches who definitely encourage these people and ensure that they are being catered for because yeah. at the end of the day, if we complain that we're losing some of these people mm-hmm. to other type of music, then you should start doing what to keep yeah, them exactly. inside the place um, you want them to be. But now we have to begin to wrap up the conversation because I yeah. know that um, there's a lot to say and we can go on and on about your talent, your craft and how much depth you have yeah. um, in line with doing music. But let, let's quickly wrap up our conversation with what you're doing right now. The Guinness World Record has come and gone. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't easy achieving that. I know you've tried oh. to take us through that process um, at the beginning of our conversation. But now let's look at it. Are you, I know you're in the process of also submitting all the things that they right. need to mm-hmm. finally satisfy you mm-hmm. as, a, as a world record, record breaker holder. or older, right? Do you have nerves with what would come out of that process? 
Um, I'm very positive about it because we did it. It was evidence. We were live all through three days and we have the videos. I've sat down to watch the clip. I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. There was a part where I was dozing off like this. I said, wow, <laughs> I did this stuff. So I'm very positive about it yeah. because we did the due stuff. Even if they will cut my time, I'm sure that it will be a couple hours, maybe because um, probably technical issues, mm-hmm. pro- the mics, trying, you know, doing three days of recording, laughter of you overheat, mm-hmm. some some other small lapses. Mm-hmm. But I'm very positive about it. It's it's tasking. Trust me, Post Guinness is tasking. We have over four terabytes of videos. Mm-hmm. We have images. We have like four angles of cameras, like each has um, duration and timing. There's time in front of me. There's time behind me. Mm. So we are very careful to compile all that evidence. There's a whole 32-page guideline on how to put it. I'm like, wow. Wow. So I'm sure they'll certify me. So you did yeah. mention that the last record or the current record order was 40 hours 40 and hours. you did 75. Yeah. So I thought you were even going for 100 at take. some point. Yeah, I was going, going at 100, but the health implication mm. for doing that, you know, yeah. cooking is a little bit much less tasking than producing. Producing needs mental strength and calculation. Now, I'm controlling the computer and controlling the artist. Mm. So it's 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 way tasking where my hands are straight like this for mm. three days. I'm doing cha, 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 and I'm looking at the screen. Mm. So if I continue more than that, chances of me having eye defects, mm. chances of me having sleep dementia, mm. chances of me having temporary memory loss is very high. So mm. we didn't want to do more than our we can't we can't just keep going. So we we have to do seventy five hours. But hopefully somebody in the future does that. Yeah. Uh, right. I like how you're looking. So what are your future plans? I, I really cannot wait for you to get certified. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. that when that finally comes, we'll be one of those who'll be saying, Yay! <laughs> we, we, just, we, we spoke to yeah. we spoke with we spoke record, before it came. world record holder. Mm. So what are your future plans for music and any other projects you're planning on working on that we should be looking forward to? And while you're answering that, I think you should also chip in um, you know, people who you're looking forward to working with. With yeah. We'll never know. Shoot your shots. They might be watching this. Yeah. Um, honestly, my my plans for music are limited. Okay. Oh. I'm going into tech and my auto side. Master that way So, uh, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, ah. okay. Midek <laughs> Belel. Ah. Oh, Walisha. Go there, think twice. I was like, it even, because I was about to say, ah, tech bro, how are you doing, sir? No, I, I, I do, you know, love is a beautiful thing. Aww. And, and ah, most, me most, dear, sorry again. Yeah, and most times, <laughs> he most times, we, to me back to back. we, the tech, we, uh, we, the tech music slash creative yeah. guys, we, we have little time for ourselves. Mm. You need somebody to help you out. You need a companion. True. You need, I just want to love our boy. I'm telling you. <laughs> I've always been. What kind of music do you write? write Your lyrics are like, <laughs> you're the sun in the, you're the sun that shines brighter than the no, moon. No, 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 no. I'm not Shakespeare. <laughs> I, I write all genres. I do everything. And like, hopefully, in the yeah. future, I get back to singing. But the chances okay. are very tiny. Uh, uh, oh, you're going to sing for us anyway. tech that you're looking for? Yeah, so I'm working on a startup called Loop Central and Setup Shop. I have okay. two startups now. Setup Shop is like um, it's like a digital warehouse for creatives. Mm. Okay. So imagine in a city like Lagos where you have traffic and everything, mm. and there is a one-click shop for people that make music, that make videos, that make digital stuff, where you can place order for stuff like cameras, music equipment. You can place orders for like technical stuff, basically. Mm -hmm. And it gets to reach you half the time because we have our centers all around cities like Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja. And it's a quick snap where you can pay instrumentally. You can do a whole lot. There's Mm -hmm. so many features on on Setup Shop and we render so many services. It's not just us. We are opening the shows to um, a lot of affiliates. It's like global for music. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's what Amazing we're working on. Stuff. It's in year one of development and trust me, it's very almost done. And then Loop Central is a is a project where we are giving people ability to license audio samples and create music on the go. Mm-hmm. We we have an app called Splinter coming very soon. So I've been into the tech plan for like three years and mm-hmm. music is like a side mission. Mm-hmm. 
Once all this come up, we are going to give Afrobeat an upper edge because Nigeria is backwards in the tech world for music. Mm. Everybody's doing tech for mobile banking. Right. So I'm trying to bring music forward. And thank God I have the support of a lot of people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's going to blow the culture up. Trust me. I to hear that. (laughs) Now, I know you said you don't like freestyles, but (laughs) I'm sorry, girl. Sorry, not sorry. (laughs) You're going to do one for us. Because you were busy showing off your voice. Come on, show it off to the world. <laughs> you know what? One thing with music, let me tell you one thing that is annoying about okay. music. Okay, okay. I can do it. Uh-huh. But when you tell me do it, I'll be like, hey. Oh, we'll God. But you will still do, do it. it. Do it. Um, because that's how we're going to okay, It doesn't have today. to be a freestyle there. You can just, you know, do a cover of any song. You know what? Oh, we are no. good backup singers. Though. Yeah. Ah, we've done it before. We've done we'll it do before. It we can do it again. <laughs> mm, let me see. Let yeah. me do, uh, what should I... What should I <laughs> Maybe let me do... Okay, let me just rap instead. Oh, yeah, okay. no. Okay. Now, well, I really wanted to hear the voice, Sha, but... Well, <laughs> should we allow him, Moyo? Let's see what you have let for us. Okay. okay. Freestyle. Wait, honestly, I'm now confused about... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do a cover of someone's song. Any, who's you know, your favorite artist? Do you have the one? The issue I have always, I've always had is... I don't know lyrics. Okay. Mm. That's because as a producer now... Listening to the song, I'm judging everything. Everything. About the song. So you're not. I really hear like the kick is yeah. not loud. The the stuff is panning this side is annoying me and so I can't do a cover to a song. But maybe let me just let me just do a freestyle. All right. Okay, let's All right. have it. Okay, so um, mm-hmm. I want you. Anything you want us to do, we'll do it. I want you to do a. So, what if we show? I see our modern land standing tall, undefeated. I see our nation filled with love, trouble all defeated. Hey. It's been a long time coming, now we up there. Nigeria is our nation, give it all. Ah. <laughs> no, that was so that was going well. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Rap, I, I really know how to rap. Let me just rap it. Okay. okay. I am like an icon living, started writing raps with stuff for a minute. You might think I'm all undead. I'm all undead. I need at the oh shit. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 but that was a fair attempt. Ah, right? That was, that was good. actually good. So, so yeah, I'm, uh, not, I'm not a freestyle person. I told you I don't yeah, like freestyle. Yeah, yeah. But trust me, next time I'm coming to this show, you'll be ready. Hey, you'll be ready. I'm not even talking. When I just come here, uh, play uh, this for me, I'll close my eyes. Come on. Oh, yeah. Drop it like a little bit. Thank you so yeah, much, Hit Sound, for much. joining us on the show today. Yeah, you didn't answer the question of people. You want to shoot your shot. Yeah, let's, let let's me shoot it. my shot. Trust me, um, if there's anyone I'd want to work with uh-huh. ASAP, ASAP in the international market, I'd love to work with Travis Scott. I'd okay. love to work with Metro Booming in the producer side. Okay. Okay. And I'd really, for the um, female artist on my list, I've worked with Arya Star. I'd love to work with Thames. Mm. Yeah, we don't like this. better thing. I hey. work with you. All right, then shooting his shot. I'd want to work with Reese and Bernard together in the studio. Together? Yeah. Okay, that would be, that would that'd be hard. Be, I feel like yeah. I have what it takes for Reese and Yo. Bernard. Yo! That's a good shot. Yeah, and then someone I've always wanted to work with from the onset is Rema. Mm. So Rem, I'm shooting my shot, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I actually love that you you know you know them by name. You I know mean, what you want. You know. I'm sure like in your head, you already have it planned out. Once I get the opportunity, this and this and this, pam 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 <laughs> pam. <laughs> and I don't need I don't need too much stress. If if I see them, even if if it is on the road, I can make music with my phone. Okay. Oh. Yeah, trust me. I'm a man that, that knows what he wants I and is prepared. <laughs> and is like, ready to he's go not for ready. it. He doesn't want the opportunity to meet him unprepared. Right. You're prepared. Yeah, of course, my Love bag. It. I have a studio in my bag. I Love go, it. It's here with me. I go around uh, with... Me, with, David, yeah. we should do our own song before he leaves here. I, I used to sing when I used to write song. Go. We are Please, doing do it. Do music. My I, I, this, this is, this is, I, I sing and I write song. <laughs> this is why we need to wrap up, guys. Sorry. We are going to go and kick off our own career in music. So we have tried for you people. We have given you all the <laughs> tips that you need to understand what music production is. Thanks to our teacher for today. Well, but right yeah. now, we are going to start our own career. So yes, people, <laughs> remember to continue watching and streaming all of our episodes on the Yaya Talk podcast across social media platforms. Yes. And share this with somebody. And if you are a producer, feel free to, you know, maybe a budding Do producer, it. right? Feel free to also reach out to hit sound it feels like someone who'll be ready to you know give you some more always, tips always. Yeah. on how to navigate the entire hit sound industry always. on instagram yeah, yeah. And, hit and sound producer there's on instagram. a whole lot of master classes courses and my 
ebook and real hard copy book is coming mm. okay. to revolutionize everything. Hey, love professor, it. You say we were right to teach this as a class. <laughs> music, <laughs> music 101. Yes, it was. <laughs> music 101. You know the vibes. Yeah, well, thank, thank you. you so much thank for you joining us. We're really happy to be on the Yeah Yeah Talk Show. And thank you. We're happy to I'm, have I'm, you. I'm ready to be a host. If now I'm at home, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, so well, hold on. You want you, you never you, you know you want to bill us for music, <laughs> but you want to collect <laughs> you want to collect our work. Okay, Please, we'll think about it. Stay your work. day. Stay your <laughs> day. <laughs> Like Stay like four million per episode. Is that a four million per episode? Uncle Fana. Don't share the gun. Stay your music lane. Don't Stay worry. We don't want it. No, Maybe no. one of those will bring you as a guest host. Yeah, for sure. I'm ah, sure. that would be sweet. That would be sweet. <laughs> that would be sweet. We'll <laughs> think about it. Thank you so much. And yes, we can't wait to celebrate your certification. No yeah. My goodness. Are we going to be popping very soon. anything? Yeah, we will be popping. So we're going to party. I don't do alcohol, so we're going to be popping. Maybe some sweet red wine. Okay. okay. We can we can make do with that. And yeah. when you finally get it, make sure you bring it to the studio because at yeah. that point, we want to flaunt it on our camera. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah. We have to go, but you know that we'll, we'll never leave you dry because we'll be back very soon again yes. on the Yeah, yeah Talk podcast. But till that time, keep dissecting all the things that we don't give you now already yes, because it's always the truth and nothing but the, but truth, the truth right Get here it. on Yeah Yeah Talk. <laughs> Hit sound. Till next time. Yes. Give us some hits. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>